exciting. So good to talk to you here at BT Sport. And first thing I've got to ask you is about this fantastic suit. We were just talking about it off oh, camera. Talk about the inspiration and the design behind this. It's all me. It's all me. Uh, Gypsy King all over it. All championship fights, uh, big title wins and stuff. So it was uh, quite a suit to bring out for the City of Angels. Absolutely. It really is here in Los Angeles. And you've made it quite clear you want the knockout. How do you knock out Deontay Wilder? Very simple. Hit him in the face enough times and he will fall. Yeah. That's the plan. We all talk about Dante being the one that has the biggest knockout power in the heavyweight division, but have you seen him or have you delivered him, you feel yourself, a, a, knock, a, a hit worthy of knocking him out? Plenty, 20 of them in fact. I've had 20 knockouts out, 29 wins. Um, so I'm more than capable of knocking Deontay Wilder out. Like I said before in press conference, I could have knocked him out last time, but I didn't have the fitness mm -hmm. due to the three years out of the ring. Uh, this time's different. Um, it's going to be a fantastic night of boxing. And what do you do in training to work on that knockout, knockout power? I mean, you say that you're fitter, you're stronger now, but what yeah. else to ensure that that happens? You just, it's all practice. Repetition, repetition. Um, what you practice is what you'll do on the night. And I'm practicing knocking people out. There's been a lot of guys been chinned in the gym already. Send a lot of sparring partners in and out, in and out, in and out. But, you know, just got to keep going, keep going. Keep looking for that right hand. Keep looking for that right hand. Let it go, let it go, let it go. This press conference is always exciting because you get a chance to face one another. And at the beginning of the press conference, you were talking, talking, talking to each other. And what was said that we didn't hear? Um, just banter between us, really. Just the same kind of stuff going on, what you heard on the thing. He thinks I'm terrified and I'm quaking in my boots, that sort of stuff. I think he's kind of deluding himself, thinks that I'm afraid of him or whatever reason. Um, what else is he going to say? Let's say his facts. He, he, He's got the big right hand, he's a knockout artist, he's got to say something to sell the fight and make people interested in his abilities. It is what it is. I'm, uh, I'm here and I'm willing to uh, put the display on. And you gave Wilder credit in saying that obviously you need the skill to set up that right hand. Yes, you know, it sure. doesn't just come from nowhere. Yeah. When you face someone once before and you get that rematch and you learn yeah. something about them from feeling their power as you did, you know, what, what do you do differently? I don't think I need to do anything differently. I outboxed him comfortably before. But like I said, I'm not looking for a boxing decision this time. I'm actually looking to knock him out. So it's going to be a different fight. You saw me on my feet last time dancing around and making a mug of Deontay Wilder. This time I'm going to make a mug of him by knocking him to his ass a few times. Well, talking about knocking people to their ass, if you like, let's talk about the WWE and the fun yes, you had there, fantastic. as well as a little bit of UFC training. But start with WWE, and he yes. was joking, saying you need a second career, etc. Yes, but yes, I do. do you see that I in your future? You can never have enough careers and enough for options. Uh, yeah, I have plenty of options, and um, I know the door's been left open in WWE. Um, WrestleMania's coming up in April. Um, after a bit wilder, I'll be looking to make an entrance to that. And I know BT have just signed a new deal with <laughs> WWE. <laughs> it's all exciting stuff. But from fun. WWE to UFC, we know you did some training with Darren yes, Till. Right, UFC, yes. world weight now, middleweight Darren Till. Do you see yourself venturing into that world at some point? Yeah, 100%. I would like a crossover fight versus their heavyweight champion with a twist. So maybe it's going to be in a boxing ring with MMA gloves on, or maybe it's in an octagon eh, with boxing rules. So who knows? We haven't really talked about that one fight at a time. Mm -hmm. Deontay Wilder to deal with first, but then there's many, many options available. And sticking within boxing, we would be remiss not to talk about Anthony Joshua. Yeah. Your thoughts on his previous performance and if you see yourself in the ring with him at any point soon? Um, I thought he'd done really well in his last fight. He'd done what he had to do to win, um, regained his belts, and it's on to the next one for him. Do I see myself fighting him any time soon? No, because I've got Wilder and other things happening, but hopefully I'll be in the ring with him very soon. Does all this kind of UFC, WWE, the Christmas single with Robbie Williams, does the all of... The autobiography, <laughs> don't forget that. Autobiography. Gypsy King behind the mask. Love it. But does any of it distract or do you thrive on having these sort of extra activities and focuses going on yeah. around you? It keeps me really busy. Um, I'm the type of person who needs to keep busy in my life or else I go off, like, off thinking straight. Uh, I need to keep focused and keep busy and keep active on all these different ventures to keep me in, in motion. And one thing I want to mention before I let you go is, you know, how vocal you've been about suffering with depression and mental health. You know, we talked at the press conference about being on the Joe Rogan show. And, you know, I feel like you've really won the hearts of the Americans especially, but the public in general. Is that something that going forward is important to you to keep sort of sharing that message? And I, I hear as well online about the help that you've given in other individuals suffering. That's correct. I'm never going to shut up about it. So all those people who are sick of hearing me, is, you better get used to it. Um, it's something that I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. Um, I'm an ambassador for the Frank Bruno Foundation as well. Um, we've got a lot of good things coming up um, for the mental health uh, scene this year as well. Lovely. And last thing, can you look down the barrel and give a message to Deont Deontay Wild Wilder from yourself here at BT Sport, head of the fight on the 22nd of February? 100%. Deontay Wilder, 
I'm going to knock you out. Boom. 